I'm Robert Estrin here at virtualsheetmusic.com with the continuing series, The Art of Pedaling. And the first, we covered the basic essentials of pedaling. That is to clear the harmonies by coming up exactly on the change of harmonies and going right back down. The second part, talk about the nuance. That's right, you can use the pedal to color your music, provided you practice without the pedal first so you know what you can connect. And then use the pedal more than just to connect what you can't connect, but to enhance the tone of key notes. Today we're going to talk about some specialty uses of the pedal. For example, in the Pathetique Sonata Beethoven, the first movement starts off with forte pianos on certain chords. Now, if I play this again, I'm going to play it first without any pedal at all, and the piano naturally gets a forte piano because the piano being a percussion instrument, you play a chord and it gets getting softer. So it almost works without pedal at all to get that effect. It's a little bit dry, but it, it kind of works. Now, there are many ways to approach these forte pianos. I've heard pianists do all sorts of things. One technique is to just start with the pedal down, so you get this boomy sound, and then let it go so it gets soft right away, giving you the forte piano. Watch, I put the pedal down before I play, and then It definitely accentuates the forte piano in those chords. I've even heard some pianists do a quick pedal and a quick release and put the pedal right back down again to get this sound. So there are many ways to approach this, and you're going to find that not only will you find different solutions for getting this forte piano effect, some drastic, some more subtle, but you're going to also find that different pianos have very different characteristics of sustain, acoustics of the room, everything plays into it. But you can experiment with your music and see what sounds you can come up with. You will notice when you listen to different pianists play the same pieces, Pedaling is often drastically different among artists. The choices that are made are personal. Your trademark that you put on your music, depending on what you like and what you want to say musically. Thanks so much for joining me. Robert Estrin here at virtualsheetmusic.com in this continuing series of the art of pedaling. See you next time.